Last year we had a really bad problem with white fly in the greenhouse and it was just so depressing. You walk through the greenhouse and whenever you went like this to any plant there was this sort of plume, a cloud of these little aphids. So much so that we actually had to take the tomatoes and the cucumbers out in early September which is just such a shame and such a waste. So this year we were determined we were going to absolutely avoid any chance of white fly. So we've gone with a multi-pronged attack and it's worked. I'm so, I mean, just so excited that it's worked because we really thought we weren't going to get on top of it. So the first thing is that we clean the greenhouse really, really carefully in the winter. And um, I mean, we didn't quite use Jay's fluid everywhere, which traditional people will tell you, but we took everything out, all the plants, everything completely emptied it. We fumigated it with sulfur bombs and that got rid of anything that might have overwintered, things like red spider mite and white fly. And then we started very early in the year with companion planting. And so we started with things like marigolds, the calendulas in here, later moving to the half-hardy annual uh, companion plants like the tagetes. This variety is called Tall Scotch Prize, which I love as a cut flower too. And there's another beautiful dark red ochre one, um, a sort of mahogany colour. Uh, which is called Linnaeus, which we've got in here too. And if you look at the base of the plants, you'll also see there's basil. And basil is another really good companion plant, because if you're going to get white fly, it loves basil so much, it tends to go for it first. And then, it's a bit of a shame, but you can just take out the basil and get rid of the white fly. Whereas, you know, I don't want it to get onto my peppers, because I've obviously spent lots and lots of months growing them. So companion planting, really important. Be it having a really clean environment, very important. And the third and final thing is biological control. And if you look on the plants, what you'll see is these little medallions, sort of paper medallions. And these arrive in the post. It's the Incarsia wasp. They're almost, they're so tiny you don't even notice them. But they will eat the aphid larvae. And so they really keep on top of it. And genuinely now, I can go like that anywhere in the greenhouse and there's just not a white fly to be seen.